Welcome back to Homesteading with the Heberts, guys. We're just gonna go ahead and check on the chickens, see how they're doing. I got them out free ranging right now. As you can see right there, they're, they're out free ranging. So it gives us the opportunity to take a look in the coop, see how the water's doing. Here's the giant water, and that looks like it's going to need to be refilled. As you can see, well guys, one of the nice things about this water, it's really easy to fill. All I gotta do is drop the hose in there for a little bit and it'll fill up. Alright guys, so that's up to the ring, but I'm going to go ahead and seal it up right now. Because i got to get going, and I don't want it to overflow. So I'll just put our roosting blocker back up, and that's it. I don't know how well you can see that guys, but the water level is just above the water nipples, so we're definitely going to have to put some water in there. They got plenty of feed in the feeder, and they're starting to lay eggs in the corner over there. And something else we noticed, in this corner right there, we have a broody hen. That's Roxy, and she's sitting on uh, about six eggs. I just showed you Roxy's broody. Um, we're going to go ahead and let her sit on those eggs and hatch them out. We'll see how well that works out. Um, Hopefully we'll get some hens out of that and we'll be able to replace some of our egg layers next year. And if we get roosters, we'll have something to put into the freezer. It's a win-win either way as long as they hatch. Oh, they're going at it. Well guys, thanks for coming along today. Have a great day. Bye.